of Nuke once again, and uh, towards Rampro, Woxic, or Lion Wait. Kalex, what is he lining up? Getting himself a smoke line up here from the roof. Yeah, waiting it out for a minute, but... I guess it gets himself the perfect range from the door to open fully. It's down to the margins, isn't it, when you're playing at this high level? Let's see, they've wasted a bit of time. Modesty right. started to get there. No bullets connecting yet. Nico, he's trying, but the smoke is right in front of him. Hunter on the other side. The duelies, Ooh. they're ripping them apart. It's too much to handle. Major goes down, and it's on Kalix here. Can't even get the reload in, in time. Hunter will find him a quad kill to begin with. Molotov to dissuade CDs from rotation, but you could see Nico wasn't having any of it. He still wants to get down there and be part of the action. He gets a face full of lead courtesy of Major. Yeah, and the Molotov had weakened him from earlier, so he was going to be dead by just one bullet there. And Kalex with the Deagle will find the headshot. It's a bit awkward right now. Nexa, he's got some crossfire potential on the other side, but it never really gets activated. Oh, <laughs> my God! Kalex, what are you doing? Three kills so far with the Deagle. He's completely returned upon G2, just Hunter left. He's gonna try and at least do some in here, but my god. I really like that from Eternal Fire. Had a lot of moving parts there. So the outside smoke's pretty standard stuff, but there's the Molotov down the vent as well. Nico took 30 damage on route trying to get down towards that lower position. He knew what was coming, Anders, but it meant that the Tech 9 had one tap potential at that range as well. So it was a really nice little set piece, a pocket strap. If you like from Eternal Fire, and of course, if Kallus gets three one digs to go with it, uh, that's all you can really ask for. It's going to be down to poor old Hunter, the hero of the last round, five and zero, drops a smoke deep in T spawn to try and provide some self preservation here, but Eternal Fire bounce back. Two players in up up. Hunter will provide another smoke here towards Squeaky. Here comes the heart Molotov, and towards Ramp we go. So they are walking into the lion's den here, Anders. Neat. Oh, sorry. Nico behind the first box, and Nexa looks like he's taking the initial aggro. So he wants to actually get a kill, them to challenge. That's when Nico will swing. Yeah, and if it goes on long enough, the scout could even rotate in. There's the kill. Now the second punch here. Nico not quite getting the headshot, and slowly they're beginning to open it up. The scout did get here, but I think it might be time to fall back, although, honestly, yeah, they've headshot in between. That's ridiculous. They've done very well here. They've got the man advantage. They've thrown his spanner in the works here. Eternal Fire didn't see that setup coming. You don't normally see it set up like that. It's the boost to play taking the aggro, then Nico to swing out. Monacy to find the scout headshots. Speaking of which, Nico needs to find one himself in the Molotov will completely destroy his position now. Taking significant damage, Monacy will have to retrieve the scout. Lower bomb site. There's not Actually, much time left. Going to be interesting finish here because they're going back and towards up and making a lot of sound on Rue and Monacy hears them. He'll be looking to deny the plant here, Anders. Yes, he will. Only 15 seconds. Walking up right behind oh. the duelies. There's the headshot on Major, but the bomb is down below. It is getting planted as we speak. And Hunter just holding the high ground. He would love a chance to find that headshot on Kalix, but not going to be giving them a free. Instead, it's on the outside. A bit of a flashbang. There would have been a chance maybe for Hooksy to chime in on the other side. I think he gets his kill still. Maybe. Question of timing, but now that Warksick's taking care of Hunter, it might just be too late. Even if he gets this one now with no kit in his back pocket, it might just be too much to ask for. That is such a... Let's get him a little bit. What is... What's going on here, lads? You know, do you know how to boost? <laughs> is he trolling Have you tried him? boosting before? <laughs> he must have been trolling. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there, but it's all for now. It doesn't matter. The round is already guaranteed. As we all know, just waiting for the... Conclusion to come through. There should be no frags found for the likes of G2 here. Just hunt up. Oh, he'll be taken care of by Maja. Look at the smoke up. What do you even do here? I think they're already starting to walk away towards CT spawn on the other side. Yeah, maybe they get a couple of kills, but they're not going to be able to win the round here. Eternal Fire, what a way to get started. 4-1 in their favor. This is the team that seems to be getting better and better as well. Like, you're right, that this team has been in a whirlwind of roster changes the last year. It seems like the same names in and out, and they never really make quite a, a real dent that we always talk about. It's been quite annoying, like. They've got Zantares, they've got this great talent, but now this is the roster that's actually starting to turn some heads. Like, over in Katowice, they didn't make the playoffs, but they definitely had some great games out there. They took a map off phase. Map of Navi took down Falcons 2-0. Um, yeah, some good grenades though could dislodge this, this particular setup, but I mean it is doable. Yeah, we normally talk about the Molotov. 
On this side, the boost certainly viable as well, especially if you've got big man Zantares at the top of the tower. Monty makes himself known in more ways than one, gets himself a double kill there. Fancy footwork rotating around that lower bomb side of Nico. Bear in mind, he's been lying away this entire time. It's more like it. Two and a half kills should be enough for G2 to survive, survive this round. The grenade doesn't quite connect, and it will be as they hold strong. Yeah, smoking off Mini. Good little flashbang going for the ceiling. Wow. Cardia opening everything up. Hooksy at Hunter dead if, without even any chance to reply. And that's the round <laughs> pretty much over and done with. My God. That had nothing to do with Walks. It's a little fake down lower. They just ran out up, uh, found two with a nice flashbang. And uh, yeah, the CTs, like I said, one dislodged from their positions. Hooksy and Hunter. Oh, Walk 6 actually bested Nico in that duel. I can't believe it. I thought he ca caught a glimpse of the time. It was so ridiculous. All right, well, he, just, he couldn't win it anyway. That's wild. What a round. Yeah, that's so sick. I was gonna, I was about to say, it's not even one of those really elaborate A executes where you got the Molotovs going back towards the default, um, the behind silos. Like, they just had flashbangs coming through the ceiling, right? There were no Molotovs to set it up. There were no interesting grenades beyond the flashes. So it's a kind of an expensive round. They lose a lot trying to hunt down the rest of the kills here, but um, still five to two in their favor. After losing the pistol, Anders, on the T side. Oh, they've got nothing out of this. So the CT's now in a world of trouble. They've lost track of the T's. Monacy's in the vent. The AWP, good luck, my friend. <laughs> he to get one. The kill, unbelievably so. Hooksy shot in the back, but he did get a kill on the ball finally. Hunter back here. This is only 17 seconds on the clock, but they're going to clean it out. The trade continues. Oh my god. The bomb out in the middle of everything. Nexa with the spray down from the high ground there. And it's G. He spent quite a lot of time on this at the moment here. Only one player to go down so far. The bomb is in the yard, but much further back, and they're setting up more smokes. These ones are landing towards hell over by the windows. But while they're doing all of that, it's major to be discovered on the other side. So, yeah, sure, they've got a lot of control That's, here, but... It's great, though, from G2. Nice reactive play. You can feel the outside smokes being deployed. You need to take some territory in response, pushing two players towards a ramp to guarantee at least a trade there. And they've got much more than that. They've got a man advantage. They've isolated the players towards outside. They've allowed them to have it. We see them just disallowing entrance towards the heaven. Santaris, though, has done well to find a timing, though. They're not looking at it right now. Might have needed the kill on top there. He's getting shot at the back. It's next to pick up the kill, but... Bomb going to be planted here with about three seconds they left on the clock. It's not going to be a lot of time, but it could be one. There is a chance for it. Woxig with the AWP still alive. Do you believe, Henry? I'm kind of believing. Like, they haven't got any utility. If they had just a smoke or a Molotov, you might really give them a fighting chance. But we'll see. Kalex, he stunned us in the second round with that Desert Eagle sequence. We'll have to do the same here again. Players all around him. Monacy, perfectly timed. Takes the aggro just as his teammates are going around the corner. If the bomb was in an open position, you might give him a fighter's chance here. Great shots from Acadia. And presumably they've got the kip. And it'll be absolutely fine. G2, no nonsense this time. Well handled. Even on a five on three, like that's a difficult round to yeah. retake that lower bomb site. You don't know what you're up against there, but they communicate. I mean, they're making up for it slowly but surely. They still have a couple of players that have hardly been activated, right? Hooksy on one, Nico on two kills. So True. they've got a couple of players out there that could still be put into the game and make it interesting. I like this Molotov down behind the wall, a little bit of a nade, and they absolutely catch Woxic out. Now, they don't know that a lot of the couple of players are crossed, but they're going to find that out pretty quickly. Nexa able to call in the information right away. So they have a great read. They're getting all the kills. Honestly, <laughs> missing none of the shots at the moment. As G2 will tie up the game and make it a 5-5 five to five scoreline here. Smoke's already going down and all five players around this, so there is something behind this. Waiting for the CT reaction to come through as they pop the smokes here. Oh, brutal grenade. Couldn't have done more damage if he tried there. Nico, will he show us what he's made of? Has he got a chance to find multiple kills here? Certainly does. Gets the double. Significant damage inflicted towards Woxic as well. He limps away with just three points of health for Kalex. Trying to pick up the pieces here. Still plenty of time, but CTs don't really need to be part of these battles. Monacy caught off position. Three versus three will look to be a fantastic start from G2. Is slowly but surely falling apart. They must have been so close to catching Nico going into the smoke at the start of the round. That was toe curling moment. But a three on three up on the high ground here. Hunter going to be careful he doesn't get caught. He nearly did. Damn. Though he was low on health already. He was dead immediately. 
And now the pressure is on here. Maggio getting out dueled the two versus one isolated out there. And Kalix, 35 seconds. I don't even know what you could do at this point in time. He's trying to take the fight here. But Nexa will be able to bring him down at the end. So G2 recovering the round. Looked like they were about to lose control of it. But this is you know, pretty important. Yes. Eternal Fire set themselves up towards an upper play here with Cardi at the chance of the kill. Doesn't quite convert it. And now Hunter, he's got a prime position to start mowing them down the turret. Finds a couple of kills here. Significant damage though. Wakadio and Kalex down. There's 10 points of health each. The bomb's going to be planted by Woxic. A three on three. Some chance here, but it doesn't look good whatsoever for the Turkish squad. Doesn't Kalex stuck in the corner? Woxic not ready for it. Didn't really realize. Oh, no. oh, yeah, it's so awkward. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's ever getting up his ladder oh, now. No way! Oh, what, the sea? what have you done? That is so sick. What a way to leave the first half. A Zeus drop down kill from the heavens. Monacy is a god. Pretty much everyone showed up. We haven't seen Woxie do too much, but bear in mind he's the, the all pro of the squad. CT side, I think you expect him to do a little more. CT yeah. side, you can't really sink your teeth in with the sniper too much. And here comes the play. Four players yeah. towards secret. Hunter outside of a smoke. Smoking main, potentially. Yeah, deep one. Wakania, I think, is kind of realizing, yeah, that puts me in a little bit more trouble. They're trying to see if they get the dive down. That's actually the bomb, but they do get the return kill at the very least. Still a four versus four, and Major starting to get a little bit of a sniff towards the lobby. Looks he's falling back and, yeah, recovering the bomb, trying to see if they can get a little bit further away. Hunter's going to be found, and Major's even coming into the play here. Monacy, finally, some kind of sane return. The bomb gets planted. And now the pressure is on the CT side. All of a sudden, Monacy could have been edged out with that kill. Nico down below. He's looking for another headshot. He can't quite find it. And the, now they're defusing right away. They're putting all the pressure on. He has to run for it. It is a 10-second defuse. It's still happening behind there. Yeah, He's just so do. far away. Nice attempt from Nico and Monacy. But yeah, the bomb just can't in a slightly awkward position at the end. Well, at least 30 points of health needs a CT mistake. Ideally, Nex is hoping the CTs will be... Pushing the lobby. 35 seconds here. I don't think they have anything to do. Might consider saving the AKs here, Anders. Maybe not anymore. Hell of a shot from Hooksy. Yeah. Wasn't ready for the re-peak, unfortunately, there. Another attempt at it. 20 seconds. Gonna be careful on the CT side. And now the Nexer is dead. Maybe you could group up and find oh. him. My god, it's just the timing. It's so stupid. One versus three, and he's turned it into a one on two at the very least. Does have the bomb on his back, but he's simply out of time. He's got nowhere to check everything. Goes for a little bit of a spray. He will get taken down at the end. You could. They're getting plenty of chances to, to flex those deagles. They're just not connecting, unfortunately, on the other side. Definitely not. And this was all for a bit of a ruse to try and get the bomb down towards lower if possible. Maybe he gets another kill here, but not meant to be. Woxic will make light work of him to close things out. Eternal Fire take the lead here in the second half. You can see Santeros having to rebuy back into the round and down to zero dollars. Oh, they're going to be rushing straight for it. Leading the charge. AKs on the A bomb side. Oh, honestly, he's broken it wide open. I can't believe he's still alive on the other side. This round is over. I don't think Santeros could do anything. He, I said in the first half, like, Monacy knows he's going to have to carry this game and he's certainly delivering on that expectation what a way to crack things open on the upper bomb side there emphatic boss behind it nice spray control he almost takes down the third in the form of Zantares as well great call from Hooksy there just when things were starting to get a little bit problematic hits him with the showstopper upper execution Normally, you'd have to run through fire and into the HE grenades to try and get through the HUD like that, but he just had such a clear path to make his way in. And the HUD player, unable to see anything, just couldn't really participate for the longest time. My god, that's devastating. Nico goes down, he'll be frustrated with that, but uh, no problem. Monacy is the different maker at the moment. Yep. 18 and 9, like, he's, there's so many rounds, more than I can count at the moment, where he's the one to just open it up. They lose Hukadia at the meantime. Not that it really makes a difference in terms of who wins or loses the round. They were already winning this one, but still, it's more expensive for Eternal Fire, which is not what they need at the moment here. Bomb going to be planted. G2 now going to be taking the one-round lead. 
And the problem for the CT side now is again that economy. That's why I tried to make such a big deal of it uh, a couple of rounds ago. They won that first round and it was a uh, you know, four people surviving on the CT side. That's where they should have started to build some money, but quickly it's caught up to them. See how much they want to hunt here with the late stage. It's kind of hard to find people on nuke at the at the, the wrong time. So you can see every one of the CT side quite far away. But yeah, this is this could be an unfortunate turn of events here for Eternal Fire. They just might run out of cash and gas. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, looking problematic, but they do say the AK and the orb. I said the money would be running low. It wasn't completely broken. I think they're sliding two people down. He's still waiting for them at the next corner. So. If he's quick with it, he get the kill. He doesn't have any grenades to slow them down, so he has to be faster with the shot. And he is. Nico didn't even know what hit him there. Sticking around now, under 40 seconds. And Kalix, been playing a really good game so far, but he's traded out against Hunter this time. And Shadow showing, yeah, Monacy, he knew that was going to happen. It's major to go down two versus three in 25 seconds. Can you even make this round work? Oh, maybe not anymore. They're trying to flush out the CTs on the other side of the squeaky area. Time is of the essence, but Monacy working with Hunter, the best performing players on the G2 outfit so far. 13 seconds remaining and maybe no chance at all because Hunter would have to do something unbelievable at this stage to keep the dream alive. And they may be going for a double up setup on the CT forces as well. I saw them pick it up. Let me just jump and source two TV. <laughs> Makes sense. I don't hate it. I think it's, uh, it's, it's a really, even a really nice position for it. The problem is if like they get the bomb down towards lower, they do an outside execution. Uh, they're dropping right now, retaking the lower bomb side of the double orb setup. Incredibly difficult. Yeah, that is usually what uh, where where that kind of strategy comes to an end. Nico, he stood up right inside of the smoke and Santaris just somehow not quick enough to get the kill. We can't I'm not even sure stand. what's going on here. Yeah, double, couple of good ones. A nice little flick there. Roxy goes down and Wicardia would have found the same fate, but somehow he gets saved. Kalix there with the Orc. Right position, right time. Monacy and Hunter now. Once again, that same duo, two versus three. They got a lot more time this round on the clock, so maybe they can do it. But I like this from Kalix. Very proactive. Might be hard to read on the other side. Of the, the timing is against him. He nearly had it. If he'd stood still, he might have had that kill on Monacy. But now it's back on. Yeah, it's so unfortunate for Kalix there. Another tight... Two on two, 35 seconds. Monacy, 21 kills. Hunter will join once again. They're healthy, they're well equipped, they have utility. Information on their side. CTs don't have much to work with. The flash towards ramp. Trying to avert the crosses of the CTs and just about gets away with it. 15 seconds now. Monacy will have to go for the plan. Smokes down, trying to bait them out. And now he will be dropped, surely. A missed shot, though, from the AWP. Magic coming right through. This is pretty sick. He's making sure that he can't win the round. I want to know how Wakadia got that first kill. It was it was showed through the smoke. Did he see anything, or was it just a blind shot? That I have to find out. <laughs> oh They're really giving space for Eternal Fire to look for more information, but it looks like the CTs are kind of just stuck in their positions, which I think it's going to be working out in their favor at the moment. A bit of a smoke up will block off Major. Kalix now, if they peek him from the high ground, at least they're not going to be worried about the squeak door. There's the flash to set it up. Let's see if they can get the wide swing against him. Good shot from Kalix, and nobody's ready for it. Major managed to relocate from the other side of the smoke, so he's good for it. Kalix, the absolute hero of this round. Three kills on him in the corner. That was really... 11 to 12 going to be the scoreline at the end of it. Gotta say, eternal fire again. I think... Okay, more. <laughs> What is wrong with Monacy? What are we witnessing right here? He has 31 kills. We're not even at the end of the map yet. This would have been a safe scoreline in MR15, right? Like the yeah, right. Like a 30 bomb yeah. was considered a world class. Back in MR15, it's ridiculous. Good smokes landing. Three of them outside, including that waterfall just... Oh, wow. Okay, there's the shot. There's the entry. And what a scalp to take as well. Nico has nothing to say about this one. They've got a five versus three, but the flashbangs are very effective to say the very least here. Damage being done. The round's on a knife edge right now. We're back to a three versus three. Hunter delivers the goods here. They've got control of up up, but taking a lot of damage for their troubles. Kalix. Oh, he can't save the day. Monacy is playing on another level right now. He had the jump on him. He had the sneak up. There's no way that Monacy knew that Kalix was coming, but 
his reactions are on a completely different level at the moment. Santaris setting up for a retake. Got to try and team go for it, otherwise it's going to be overtime here. They don't have the kit either, so it'll be really rough. They're running out of time. Hunter gets one. Monacy with the other one. He ends regulation at 33 kills and brings G2 into overtime. What? A it must be so discouraging to be up against one player who just... There's nothing you can do. You have to pay every time a couple of kills just to try and, and fight him. That was a 5 on 3 as well. They managed to pull back to take us to overtime. They might have to do the same thing once again. First two kills for the Ryan. Bacardi has dropped in the process. They've got a 4 on 3 here, G2. Plenty of time on the clock. I want to see a Nico removed, however. Yeah, Kalix doing great work once again. He's up to 20 now. Plenty of time on the clock, but yeah, they are so they've, far back on the map. They've fallen back into this double orb setup as well, just to note. Makes the retakes difficult, but we won't even get there. We've got a nice man advantage here. Outside smoke's being deployed from T-Spawn. There we go. Second one landing. 45 seconds. And the AWP put into play. Grenade. Oh, if it goes a bit deeper, it just gets the kill out. Right, but it doesn't matter. Santaris being activated. He's been... Just trying to get the intel. There's the opening that they needed Nico to get that one. 30 seconds left here. They're really running it down low. Hunter, though, will pick up a card here. And now the pressure is on. Watchstick knows they could be coming outside. He's got to be aware of it. Calix no out way. there to help him. But the bomb is definitely going to be planted here. There's not much they can do. No, it's over. Might as well save the AK. They'll be able to buy, of course, next round. But you can't purchase the AK-47. There's no real reason to throw the AWP away. And that's going to be G2. Managing to find some very important frags. Especially Nico, timings on Taris, just he went in towards Zappa, gets the backstab in, and the upper bomb site completely collapses at that stage. Woxic communicating with Kalix, they'll both be hiding away in towards CT spawn. I guess you could go hunt them if you really wanted to, but uh, there it is, GT tying things up at 1-1, as they keep four players alive here as well. Monacy still on 33. Some of the other teammates chiming in at this stage. It's Hooksy, they got a very important kill towards that. Ramprum took that match with the AWP, that double orb setup. Doesn't do too much for them, but sad. Uh... They're going to be burning out Landry here. I don't know if that's going to be... Yeah, they're going to land a little bit further behind, so... He's quite happy to just be stood here for a minute. Putting down some counter grenades of his own. That one landing on Hooksy quite nicely. Still down to the early kills. Flashes going through. Hooksy, the first man in to get the kill as well. What a double opening. Hunter to claim the second one, but... Everything's working to perfection at the moment. Monacy couldn't even really see what he was shooting at there, but Wakadi is dead anyway. Wow, that was that was expertly played. We need slow motion replay of every one of that. Uh, shout out to Hooksy as well. He only gets the one kill there, but the flashbangs he provided from the yeah. heart, the double flash, like you can turn from the first, but you're catching the second. Everyone was blind as you like there. And uh, he gets the first, does significant damage to the second as well. Nothing Woxic can do. And that's been the case of the CT campaign. Smiles all round as Monacy is absolutely destroying them out there right now. So Just waiting for it now, but Kalex, he might defuse the situation. Just slowly walks away. It's so close. They spend a good 15 seconds on either side just waiting for it. And Monacy, he might have found a good bit of opening. He's just the gun barrel. That's an easy shot on the Woxic. Four versus four all of a sudden, and we're down to 40 seconds here, but might be a chance out of the vent. Santaris, he's been spotted already. Hooksy feeling the pressure now, and he can't land that shot. Monacy, though, unable to miss anything at the moment. And oh, Nico bomb. walking in from behind. It's worked out. That's the bomb on the ground. And Bacardia down here. He needed his teammates to stay alive. He's alone now, and they've fallen back. They're leaving him the bomb site. They say, we don't really care. You can have the site. You just can't have the bomb that goes with it. 18 seconds now. And it's slowly whittling out. He wanted to fight, but he's not going to get any great discipline on G2 here in this one versus three. Nico, the one to find him. Like I said, you needed a win before Nico get, got here, and he's officially here now. 17. Okay, they grenade out Nico from this one. The Molotovs go down below. They don't really touch Nico at the moment. There's a bit of a peak, draws all the attention away. That leaves Nexa with the chance to maybe do something here, but they lose Nico at the same time. Still a good kill for Nexa, but it might not be enough. Walk sick. Finally coming alive. That's a deep angle that he's taking towards the squeak door back there. Two versus three. Bomb no! getting denied. Hooksy cleans for the smoke. He takes down the enemy captain. 
And it's a two versus two. 30 seconds left. Everything on the line here for Eternal Fire. They need the bomb plan. They try it again, but Hunter is on it. And now Woxic, the pressure on him. The weight of the world at his shoulders here. One versus two, he's way out in the open. I can't believe he's not spotted. Hooksy caught sleeping behind the wheel. And now it's a one versus one. The drop down, 14 seconds. He finally tries to pick it up, but Hunter is on top. And it's G2 in overtime no! with a victory. Six.